Yeah, it's frozen. This thing works great for cleaning out tracks. That was a lot easier than a shovel. Alright, I'm on this job here today. The plan is to clean up this wood that was dumped down in here. So what happened here, alright, so all this wood had been dumped in here and it turns out the guy was not allowed to do that. So he hired me to come in here and take it all away. Alright, so there's a few different types of materials in here. Um, my goal is to just go after the wood. So I got my Hitachi here because that will make much quicker work of this. And I got my six wheeler here. And then I'm gonna come back with my 10 wheeler because this is gonna be multiple loads. And it, the 10 wheeler has a much bigger body. So I also told the guy, you know, get rid of some of this junk in here. Um, you know, he was talking about, he said, I'll maybe get rid of this thing. Has anyone ever seen one of these that actually works? Every time you see a Land Rover, it's, it looks like this. All right, well, let's uh All right, well, let's get started here.
try to catch it or
All right, so I'm at the point here where I've finished what I was asked to do here. So all the wood and everything that was dumped down in here is now removed and the slope of the flat parking area is now, you know, brought back to like a consistent line. So they came and marked out some post here where the guy's supposed to put up a fence. So from that blue ribbon to there to this blue ribbon and down out that way to the edge of that porch. All right, so if that guy had kept this site looking a little bit better, he probably wouldn't have gotten to the point where he was asked to come in here and do something about this. But, but no big deal. So the next thing, he said he's going to do something with this pile of rocks. He told me to just leave it. And then there's there's a lot of other junk here too, like extra building materials and stuff. He, he should really you know clean a lot of that up but you know that's not what we were asked to do all right so I'm all done here so I'm gonna go uh, pick this machine up and then and on to the next job but it's like mid-December now so I wouldn't take any you know now's not the time to start any big jobs because the weather makes it much more difficult so you know any jobs will be taken from from now to like March I'll just keep them small things that are close to home Unless it's like an emergency uh, plumbing repair underground or something. 